On behalf of my wife and I, we want to thank everybody today who helped us uh, in this day of celebration and this day of giving. We want to thank Magic 107.5. We want to thank 97.5. We want to thank all y'all out there for listening every day. We just appreciate y'all so much for pitching in and making this such, an, such a uh, successful event for us. Thank you all so much. Thank you. Thank you. look at your life and where you come from. And every time I reach a plateau, we oftentimes think of where we were. See, and that's what keeps you right about the whole thing. See, what happens to some celebrities is they get to where they think they're going, but then they try to block out the past. Well, that ain't how the deal go. You understand? We're all a son told of our past, but you have to remember, man, that it wasn't always good and gravy for you. So it keeps your mind right when it's going right, and then it causes you to remember what it was like when you didn't really have nothing to eat. What was it like when you wasn't really working steady? What was it like when you couldn't afford a car? You gotta remember that stuff. And then it makes you look back and say, man, somebody helped me along the way. Nobody makes it without help. Somebody gave you something along the way. And also I want to thank uh, Magic 107.5, uh, my home radio station here in Atlanta, for all that they do to promote it, to put the thing together, for all of y'all. And on the real, you know, man, I just want everybody to know, listen to me real careful. If you don't listen to nothing else I say, if you could just listen to me momentarily. God is in the blessing business. God has a blessing for you with your name on it. But a lot of times you have not because you ask not. If we would spend less time talking to each other, spend more time talking to our maker who created us, find out what he got for us, God really has a lot more for us than we've been even, than we've received. Because we just won't talk to him about everything. I'm telling you, this time next year, if you get your mind made up, I said this time next year, if you get your mind made up, if you talk to God on a continual basis, I'm telling you, God's promises is true. You don't have to be needing a turkey next year. You'll be passing out turkey dinner yourself at your house. What you want is for somebody to come to your house and you be able to stick four, five plates out the door and everybody at your house still eating too. Come on, man. Get in touch with God. See what God really got for you. Because God got a storehouse of blessings. I'm telling you, my mama used to say this to me all the time. I just finally figured it out. Took me a minute, but I got it figured it out. God ain't ever too late. He always on time. He can turn your life around right now. I don't care what you done did, what you done got yourself in. Okay, you ain't got to listen to me, but I'm telling you, this the real deal now. Just try it. Why don't you try God? Just do that and see what he do for you. He turned your whole life around. He's a bad man. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Straighten me out. He straightened me out. He straightened anybody out. So thank y'all for coming. Appreciate you. We're going to try to meet a few people while we're here. And I hope you have a great and a safe holiday. And if you can, if you can, share your turkey with somebody else that don't have something to eat over the holidays. Let it be contagious. If God blesses you with whatever he bless you with, turn around and bless somebody else with it. He going to give you 10 times what you had. It'll come back to you 10 times. That's a real deal. Thank y'all very much, man.